Hey guys, just a quick reminder to like our page and subscribe so that way we can keep making these awesome videos for you like the one coming up right now. Wind Creek State Park is one of the largest state-operated campgrounds in the nation. Located on the waters of Lake Martin, Alabama, guests can enjoy numerous activities here, such as climbing the historic Wind Creek Silo. Today, we meet up with park ranger Alex Massey and Wind Creek Assistant Supervisor Laramie Warren to learn more about this story and climb the silo for ourselves. That's me, Shaylee, and that's my boyfriend, Steven. Normally when you see us, we're out on some big crazy adventure exploring the outdoors and living larger than life. But what you might not know is Steven has actually been diagnosed with a rare disease that basically breaks down all the muscles in his body. And if that isn't hard enough, he's just now recovering from cancer too. But that isn't gonna slow us down. Our blog is going to take you on exciting adventures all across Alabama, explore myths and urban legends, and meet some new local friends along the way. So buckle up and enjoy the ride, and welcome to Pelican Point Expeditions. Back here at the main office. Let's go meet up with Alex. Alex. Yeah. For Alex. Come around around here. Okay. Hey guys. Hey, hey Alex. Hi, how are you? I'm Steven. Hi. I'm Shaylee. It's so nice, nice to meet you. you. So uh, we're here with Alex today um, and uh, Stephen and Shane of Pelican Point Expeditions. And he's one of the park rangers here at Wind Creek State Park. Um, and he's gonna show us around a little bit at Wind Creek. I've been at Wind Creek for about a year and a half now, actually, Perfect. so not, not too long. Oh, how, how, how do you love it? I do, it's great, it's great. Uh, I started out at Oak Mountain and then transferred down here and actually got into the, the park ranger and. And it's been wonderful. They've been nothing but great to me. <laughs> the history of the park itself, we've got, it was built back in the 60s by Russell Lands, mm -hmm. and it was it was owned by them. It was kind of a, a little recreation area for some of their workers and for the public. Uh, but then in the 80s, I believe, it was given to the state park system to where they closed it down for about three years to do some maintenance right. and renovations, and they got it back going I think they spent about three million on it wow which, you know back in the 80s is definitely <laughs> a lot more than it is today uh, but now it is how we see it today uh, so if you could I know one of the landmarks that a lot of people when they're on the water or when they're coming by car they always see the silo they're always wondering about the silo do you know a little bit of the history about it yeah so back in the 30s when this was all farmland before it did turn into the state park and right. before the the lake was filled in. Uh, it was built by a farmer who had some land out here, so just farmland, uh, as a grain silo. He had it to house his grain and all that. Well then when they filled in the lake it just served as an overlook tower because there's no more farmland left. Wow. So uh, they, they filled it in they made it just an overlook tower and it's been there ever since the 30s. And so, and so it was never moved, it just happened to be right there it on the... to be right there. Yeah, that, that's faith, that's faith, that's, that's, that's wild. But the story doesn't stop there. Alex took us to meet Laramie Warren to hear more about the silo before we climbed it for ourselves. Oh, this is neat. Oh my gosh, wow, how cool. Numbers. This is April 1969. Wow, that's super cool. <laughs> look at these cars. Look at all the people. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. 
We're back Memorial Weekend. Gives me a Daytona Beach vibe. <laughs> late 80s or 90s back when it was used as a gift shop in the bottom of it. Wow, that's awesome. And then that bridge used to be right across where the silo is of that little mm -hmm. island. Yep. And then we're assuming that, I don't think, they used to have an old store at the beach, but I think that's just one of the old, old Russell cabins back in the 60s. Gotcha. And then that, that is the beach area. That was the beach area back in the day. Oh my it used gosh, to have a yeah. store on it and the two boat ramps. Oh, cool. And those are the, oh, you can hardly see them, but they're the old Russell cabins. Let's see. Oh, neat, yeah. And they were on this first row of B where all these campsites are. Yeah, tell me about the silo being the store of the National Park. I can't remember the years. I don't know what years it was, but I know it, when it, was, it was originally a grain silo from C.F. Herbert's or however you say his last name. When it was all before they backed the lake up right. and then they backed the lake up and then when the state got it it's been a naturalist office and there's still a desk in there i think that was the last thing it was was a naturalist office wow. but before that it was a gift shop and you had the bottom uh was a gift shop and the top was a little store too but there's not much room in it now and then but it it yeah. sweats so much and so much condensation that we hadn't been able to do nothing with it well, it makes for a really neat story, just a historical story, oh, and then a site to go and, and walk up it. I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. Well, I think it's, it's amazing that that wasn't planned, because, I mean, it's just, like, right there on the water line. Like you said, it was before it was flooded, and it just, for it to end up being essentially right on the water. Right there where it stops. Yep. Yeah. these speed bumps. So we are driving down past the archery and through the beach and picnic area, heading to the silo. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. Look at that beach area. I think that's Alex up ahead. scenic as this drive was, Stephen and I couldn't wait to see what views lied ahead from the top of the silo. The base, how the, 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 the base, base is is wider. Um, when it was the store and the and the naturalist office, okay. uh, that that was the the office right there on that that bottom level. Now, as you can see, it's been uh, nicely decorated right. and uh, <laughs> everything's been boarded up. And yeah. that's that's because they're just not in use anymore. So we've just blocked all of that off and just have it for the observation tower now. Absolutely. But, um, I guess it looks like you can have fire pits in here, and uh, I guess are are these for like parties? These, uh, or? Yeah, these are just rentable pavilions. We've okay. got the two over here, and then there's one across the way in the North Picnic area. Okay. And so yeah, you can rent those and just have for the day, uh, from sun up till sundown. Oh, you rent it just for whatever meeting that you'd like to have. Speaking uh, of yeah, fireplaces though, we saw so. two that looked like they had ivy or something growing out of them. Oh, what? Coming just down on this yeah. road? Yeah. 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 Those, the those were really old cabins and when they dilapidated they took them all up except for 
the little don't fireplace. They left those there just to, to, you can use them if you want. They don't get used very often, and I think that's mostly just because people don't know what they right. are or what, what they're used for, but that's they're still in use. You can still uh, use it as a grill. Cool. Or, uh, that's pretty cool. Check that out. Woo! We're about to go climb that thing. It's windy. It's it is so windy. windy. Up there. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. So you come up those steps and around here to the silo. I guess this is the first level. This is the first level. This is the view. Very unique seawall that I haven't seen anywhere else in the way. It's wonderful. Protect the land. I agree. You can see real big where it says Wind Creek. And then you'll see there's a massive spotlight at night that will shine on Wind Creek. So boaters and I guess houses, like that white house has a perfect view of this tower. There's that pavilion area that we were just standing at. Can we go, yeah, can we go up another, another yeah, level? Absolutely. Oh, look at the old door. Let's see. All the way up that spiral. Ooh, these stairs are very narrow though, I will say that. And they just keep spiraling up. Okay. Oh yeah, now we're now we're starting to get high up here. There's the tree tops. where you need to lay out and get some sun. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. This is gorgeous. Look at that view. This is gorgeous. Wow. So this is your view from the top of the silo. It's just one big open round top. I don't know what I was expecting to. <laughs> if you want to know how high up we are. Here's the stairs that we just came up. Look at that. Okay, we just made it to the top of the silo and the views here are absolutely gorgeous. It is windy, but that does not even take away from how stunning it is up here. I'm so glad we made this climb. Absolutely. What were you expecting? Uh, I don't know. I mean, not a concrete. No. Yeah, I know. I was kind of surprised to get up here and it's just, just, a, just a circle. It's but a con yeah, it's a concrete slab. Um, <laughs> And you have an incredible view of the lake. So much of it still hasn't been touched. Um, you see how it was probably when it was flooded in 1926. Um, 
I mean, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. All right, you ready to head back down? I am. All right, let's go. Awesome. This has to be on your bucket list. If you come out here to Wind Creek State Park and you have not been out to the silo yet, you are missing out. Uh, I know there's a lot of myths and urban legends and stories behind it. So it was really cool to be able to come out here and, and see history for ourselves. Never miss an adventure. Like and follow Pelican Point Expeditions on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. And stay tuned for the next episode on Lake Martin TV.